Vans of Vero Jerry. That's fans with a PH, I presume. And other Rim Rims, welcome to the Pharaoh Dynasty's 28 years since Jerry first landed here on this desert planet. And what a 28 years it has been. I don't think there's been a, a, as many memorable moments in any series as there have been in this one. We've had Pharaoh Jerry battling the sand beast and single-handedly saving the colony. Baby Wes fighting the snake and losing an arm when he was only an infant. The Eternois fighting the giant dragon. The attack on Garthwick. The robots dancing for their pet cat. And of course, Wes and Rebecca's date. Maybe the most invested I've ever been in a RimWorld relationship. And we've only scratched the surface. That has been 28 years of Jerry's life. 28 years well spent. But this is just the beginning. This is generation one of the colony. Jerry himself is about to turn 61 years of age. I think he's probably got a few more years in him yet. But there is still a lot of work to do before we are ready for Jerry to move on to the afterlife. The gigantic pyramid probably being the main one of those. But then we also have to try and get Jerry up to level 10 Silent so he can bestow all of his psychic knowledge on his heir and successor, Wes. We have to find 750 gold so that Jerry, much like the Stellarts, can bestow his own ranks on his people. And this idea is maybe the most ambitious of them all. We have to try and give our people some weapons and armor that we haven't taken off of a dead body. I know, I know I've been saying that for episodes on end. And while I was setting up, it looks as if they finished a couple of new monoliths. The monoliths that we're using to keep track of the tale of <laughs> this city. That stage never gets old. So we've got the attack on Garthwick. We've got the Pharaoh's arrival. We've got the royal animals, which was recently added to the comedic decorations legacy of Jerry submod. It's Jerry within Jerry. Oh, that was poor phrasing. Holy shit. Not on this channel. It's not. You can go find that somewhere else. And then we've got like the, the royal guard cat down show the storm tortoise. The dragonborn pharaoh Jerry, Jerry embodies Ra, where using his fiery sword, he single-handedly saved the colony. Do you have a spare one built? I thought we'd line one up and, and work on a second row here, because... Like I said, this is like the first generation. There's going to be so much more impressive stuff that we do. Now, what I'm thinking is Jerry needs to get in touch with the gods a little bit more. We need some silence so that, again, we can give Wes, when Jerry reaches silent level 10 at least, we can give Wes his own silent level and kickstart his own thing. Because getting getting the first silent is arguably the most difficult thing to do, right? You have to have a very specific backstory and etc, etc. But if we have Jerry cheating onto him, everything's fine. Then we, then we can kickstart it. So I think I'm going to reinstall the school into this now empty building here. We'll turn this into a kind of schoolhouse style building. And then this part of the temple, I'll either throw down the really, really cool Anima Obelisk from the Anima Obelisk mod, if I can see it. There we are. Um, it doesn't fit. It's the wrong size. Oh, we could put one that side and then we could put the animatory on the other side. It might be a little bit cramped, but we can do a little tweaking. Oh, look, we can build an actual research bench now. Goodbye, research spot. Once again, you have carried us so far. You know what? If we put it there, it kind of acts like a, a reception desk for the rest of the building. A breakup. Who could that be between? Oh my God. I hope it's not Wes and Rebecca already. That would be... It's Timo and Lee Zero. Oh my God. They, they've broken up after all this time and all these children. All these children, which, to be fair, uh, Timo hated. Every single one of them. <laughs> I guess it just got a little too grating for Lee Zero. Look at that. I don't think it's working between us. It's not you. It's me. Yeah, but no, it was him. They seem like a bit of a dick, to be honest. I, I think this may be the first ever Generation Star series where we've actually got a working school. I guess we'll designate one part of the building for children to learn in, and then the other part for adults, so just kind of generically useful things for them to learn about if they haven't got anything else to do. Things like shooting or medical. Then we have shooting, melee, medicine, growing, and social. I think that's pretty good prospectus for any adults who want to try and try and retrain in their later years, you know? When you're getting on a bit, I've allowed up to 12 skill. So if they're above 12 shooting, they'll default to the next one. So melee, medicine, I think that's probably the right order to do everything in. If we have everybody up to level 12 medical, we would, we'd never have to worry about infections or anything like that again, right? And the room at the top will set up with specialized jobs for the children. So little baby Struka there, Kennedy Struka. 6.66 medical, wowee. Um, I guess we could have you work on that one. Also very good at crafting, very good at artistic too, wow. Um, honestly, out of all of them, maybe crafting's the most useful. Wes is our next best crafter, but he's about to become Pharaoh, and he's not even that skilled. Sorry to say it. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's train you up. So little baby Gennady Struka can be trained in crafting. We'll just say do forever, and then specifically Gennady. Garthwick, very good at plants medical. I think I'll try and train Garthwick up in medical, though. We can always do with a lot of good doctors. Having everybody kind of train up to level 12 is fine, but we do need some really good ones for 
Potentially any kind of prosthetics that we're going to throw out there. So that was for little Garthwick. Ironic too, some people said this in the comment section, that maybe after Garthwick's very vicious attack yesterday, where the pirates were queued up at the window trying to shoot him with crossbows, maybe after he was attacked, he dedicates his life to making sure nobody suffers like he did. To making sure there's always someone there ready to patch them up if they were to be attacked by vagabonds and criminals. What kind of person shoots a baby through the window with a crossbow? That's a fantastic character art for little Garthwick. I'm in. I, I like that idea. Then we have intellectual for Alina on this desk, and then artistic for Nastadoa. Now, bear in mind we've been training Nastadoa up since he was in, since he was a baby, since he could use this at the age of like five or whatever. He now has 16 artistic. Not very skilled elsewhere, but really, really focusing down on that and having this skill set up has, has paid off massively, right? Because now we can decorate the whole base with with all sorts of art. I think we're gonna need a dedicated sculptures hut or something like that. Some sort of art building. We have a kind of blacksmith area here. But if we build it down here close to all the brick production, I think that makes sense. Near the quarries too. But bear in mind, we've only just got complex furniture. So this has only just been the first time we've ever been able to make any sort of artistic stuff. I want I want a big workshop for you. I think you deserve a big old workshop. Traders, have you got cotton seeds? It's a shaman merchant. They very much might. Come on. We need to see this. It's the only way we can kickstart a whole economy. And think of all the clothes I've got to make for our people. Cotton seeds. Oh, you shit. What the hell? St. John's wart oil? I don't care about St. John's warts. I want bloody cotton seed. Get out of here. Give me your money and get out of here. Oh, incidentally, what I am going to do is turn this into a kind of marketplace style area. So probably pave it over, throw down some trading stalls. Obviously, they won't do anything, but it'll look nice. Is that not the whole point of this colony? I mean, in hindsight, what might have made a little more sense is actually building people beds. Given that I spent the best part of about 20 years trying to get... Well, beds. And if we throw out a little research, everybody's basically good to go. Early medieval medicine would be pretty nice, given that I'm turning this building down here into some sort of hospital area. Yeah, I know it's on the edge of the colony, okay? But this is probably going to be where a lot of the enemies come through. I feel like we should put a gate on on this part of the base, given that this is the Pharaoh's mansion, and this will eventually will turn into the, the Valley of Kings, when eventually we can build some statues. So maybe a big old gate here. Jerry and Lee Zero. Uh, is Timo gonna be okay with that? Timo might not, uh, might not care. Oh, but Timo's supposed to be like the colony guardian. Are you all right with that? I mean, they were very, very good friends, and Jerry was, of course, very respectful, waiting until they had broken up. That's that's very kind of him. Uh, Timo, minus forty-three, but but Timo loves Jerry. Jerry doesn't like Timo, but Timo likes Jerry, and you know what? That's important. Why does, why does Jerry, why does, why does Jerry not like Timo is probably a better question. Timo likes him because he's God Emperor, of course. Timo was previously our enemy. I don't trust him. Oh my God, Jerry. Even now, has he not proven himself? Gates. <laughs> that seems a little pathetic. I mean, I suppose if we throw a few of them down, it'll be, it'll be fine. It'll work out. You can't build those out of, oh, you can't build those out of stone. That's okay. We'll just do something like that. I think that'll work fine. And then I suppose the question is, how's the pyramid coming along? Ooh, that's looking quite nice. Well then, Tet Mate, we're well over halfway now. So the only problem is if we're building a gate on this side and raiders pop in this side, we're going to need a way for them to get to... Well, first, we need to patch this up. This is unforgivable. The great walls have been breached and we're just ignoring it. Unless we want them smashing down our walls constantly, we're going to need a way for the enemies to actually get over to the base. So we'll have to build another bridge here. It doesn't have to be quite as complicated. It could just be a basic wooden bridge or something like that. Ooh, we have canopic jars now. Wow, they, I mean, this really changed everything, didn't it? Complex furniture was just the, it was the, it was the key to unlocking absolutely everything we need. Why can't I build a bridge? <gasps> Too close to the map edge. Ah, yeah, no, that's a, that's a fair point. Um, let's get to furnishing these houses properly now that we can actually do it. Ah, uh, dining chairs. I like the wooden stools too much, even though they're worse. I just think they suit the aesthetic a lot better. It's so sad. Even now, Jerry hasn't forgotten about a sweet, precious... Uh, uh, something. <laughs> uh, sweet, precious Avila. Sweet, precious Avila. We can never forget about you. Look, it's finally happened. Generation 3, Jerry's grandchild. Rebecca has given birth. <gasps> She's given birth in the Holy River. That's a terrible place for a baby. <laughs> oh my god, Rebecca is face down in the Holy River as well. Lee Zero, legendary behavior. Jerry, uh, Wes. Wes. 
making sling. Come on, rescue Rebecca. For God's sake, your child has been born. <laughs> it has finally happened. Three generations of the King Dynasty. What are you like, Eli King? Four point one. My God, the passions. This child is blessed, born in the Holy River. He inclined, dislikes children. He inclined is obviously fantastic for a bloody pharaoh. I mean, that's that's great news. I presume incapable of violence because he's just been born. That would make a lot of sense. Construction four, double passion. Cooking, single passion. Animals, double passion. Artistic, double passion. Medical, double passion. Eli King, phenomenal behavior. Wow, what are we going to name you? Dare I go into my names list from the patrons? Oh, God. Oh, sweet, merciful crap. The first name on the list is Dodgy Dave. <laughs> this person's name is now Dodgy Dave. His title is Frightened Child. Wow, we've really set you up for failure, haven't we, Dodgy Dave? Blessed, though. Maybe Dodgy is just uh, a Jerry Egyptian uh, prefix, meaning blessed. Blessed actually means dodgy. That's why when people refer to, to Jerry as a dodgy con man, they're actually referring to him as a blessed pharaoh. It's just Jerry Egyptian. It's his own little language, you see. Blessed sweet Dave with your great passions bestowed upon you from the holy river and the gods themselves. I think we need some sort of party. I think there's nothing else for it. I think we need a god's fair. A celebration in the name of our future pharaoh, dodgy Dave. <laughs> this was a mistake. This was a mistake. What a party. I mean, is this not everything you could ever want from a party? These hunger pangs are hard to ignore. Are we out of food? Uh, no, we're fine. Just go eat food, idiot. The celebrations are finished. Unforgettable. Of course it's unforgettable. Relations with the Pharaoh's people. Oh, so our, our nearby, our settlement was impressed by our ritual there. They've heard the news of the new royal child, and they're, they're very happy about that. And Nastadoa is now 18. Old enough to get to work? Alina, how old are you? 15 and 21 days. So you're still you're still learning. You've obviously got a researching where she can. There's no reason not to when you got 14.81 intellectual, right? Let's go ahead and flip this into a full-blown hospital. Now, we'll probably need some of the uh, apothecary stuff in here. Some of the medicine production, that type of thing. Apothecary table. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's throw down a couple of those. And if Technomate is down here working on the road, have you finished the pyramid? You shit. I got a little distracted there. Let's make sure that he is forced to work on that pyramid now. Yeah, thank you. That's what I thought. I think we've still got a long time before Jerry's gonna kick the bucket, right? He's only 61. Man's got years ahead of him yet, but I want to make sure this is finished. It's a lot of work. Oh, but look, they've still got time for a family meal. Even though Lee Zero and Timo broke up, didn't quite see eye to eye. They're, they're still all hanging out. Everybody's still fine. And a party! Garthwick is throwing a party. Little baby Garthwick. Little baby Garthwick whose head hasn't quite... I haven't quite grown into that hair yet by the looks of it. We're still a little ways off of the pyramid, but we are so close now. How much left? 4,100. Oh, sweet Jerry. Oh, sweet Jerry. So also very exciting down here. We can finally build an artisan's workshop where we'll make jewelry. We'll make any sort of art pieces, sculptures, statues, that type of thing. We've got so many mods that, that can use this quite well. What on earth is a cleaning bench? Hello. A table to clean loot and ready for them for display. Whoa. Ruby skulls, emerald skulls, gold bowls and skulls. This seems perfect for the pharaoh. The pharaoh, who of course we should probably bury some of his well-obtained gold with, right? That's something we'll worry about later on. Let's throw down one of these cleaning benches. That sounds really cool. I've no idea what that mechanic is. Let's throw down a jeweler's bench as well. Anything else works in here? Um, maybe a crafting bench? I'm sure we could find one or two things to make up that. The important thing though. Art benches, right? Let's just make them out of bone. Try and save on some resources here. And let's chuck down... Maybe a couple, and then save the rest of the building for storage. Although there is ceramics, too. Man, there is so much stuff we were able to put in here. Casting table. What is that for? What, for, like, casting? Oh, with tallow. Oh, that's a cool idea. Oh, man, there is just so much. Holy shit, this mod is great. Um, or oh, these mods at this point. This is, this is great. Well, let's throw down a couple of those as well, and I guess we'll store unfinished works and and rock chunks and things in the middle of the room what about like workbenches tool cabinets need 25 steel oh no wait that's that uh 200 steel still i didn't know if medieval overhaul had changed it that's really expensive for this stage of the game tool racks we can definitely throw around everywhere though not long last a new recruit i never thought i'd see the day it's crab crab has immediately jumped on the velociraptor thank you crab what are you good at uh shooting's pretty good mining 
very high tier on the mining front. Age 25. So you're actually already in the right place. It's like the game knew. Where's his 23? Oh, it seems like only yesterday he was just a tiny little baby. Being born on top of a giant dead dragon. I might have forgotten to mention this, but I did rename the people after the ritual to kind of celebrate them actually being here and surviving for long enough. Thought they deserved an actual name. So we have Jaspazzi now rather than Kappelson and then Togues rather than Green. Crab, Jerry will bless you with a name as well. Because... Um, we, we have never seen a crab before. None of us know what that is. Well, according to my name's list, your name should be Azathoth. Azathoth Bloodfang. It's a step up from crab, for sure. He's got good shooting, right? So we need to turn him into a warrior. And I just feel like crab doesn't inspire fear in the, our enemies. We got a lot of revenge to get on those southern tribes for what they did to poor little baby Garthway. I'd say the hospital is pretty much done too. It's not state of the art. It's not perfect. What's the infection chance? 50%. I mean, I'll take that. That seems pretty damn good. Then we've got these apothecary tables too. Wow, there is so much. Holy crap, I'm gonna have to sit here and read through all of these and see which ones are worth... worth making. Seeing what they even do. Better medicine though is huge. That one we... that one we really do need. Bogs pass. A group of bogs appear on the horizon. They shimmer in the light. <gasps> Ooh, scarabs. Silver scarabs. Oh shit. Is this... is this gonna curse us? The god's gonna curse if I cut down these silver scarabs. I want your silver little scarabs, I'm sorry. D do they just drop silver? How does this even work? Tamate, it's a bug. Is he okay? You look like you're having a bad time. <laughs> what are they? Hmm. I bet you have to butcher them. Oh, I'll kill them all. Get them, Tamate. Okay. Maybe I could have captured them and tamed them. Imagine if we find gold scarabs and the pharaoh sets up a gold scarab breeding program. That would be insane. Uh, that's exactly how it works. Oh, those are really cool. We could use them as defenders of the pyramids as well. <gasps> what do I spy out of the corner of my eye? But Jerry's mighty pyramid. Look at that. I mean, that is just... <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Wow, there it is. Good quality. Okay, so... That's a bit unfortunate. I'm not tearing it down to build it again. You must be joking. Uh, only worth 17,000. I think you're undervaluing it, to be completely blunt. It weighs 100,000 kilograms, which does sound about right. Wow. The image. The piece bears an image of a valley. The work is shaded in the hues of black and orange by Tech Mate. Oh, my God. It's actually ludicrous. I mean, it's actually ridiculous. <laughs> it's fantastic, though. And it bears the image of a valley. What valley does it bear an image of? Well, of course, it is the Valley of the Kings. Which we will have... The Valley of the... The Valley of the Kings. How have I never noticed that before? What's Jerry's last name? Is Jerry King. It is literally a Valley of the Kings. How have I not noticed that? I... I am mentally unwell. How can... It couldn't be any more perfect. That wasn't intentional. I need to point that out. The very famous Egyptian monument, the Valley of the Kings, that wasn't intentional. It was purely an accident. This guy's from a really, really, really old series. So this barely even counts. My God, you've outdone yourself again. What, what if we just call it the Valley of the King? As in like the King Dynasty to avoid copyright. We don't want Space Egypt suing us. <laughs> Although I feel like that ship may have sailed. <laughs> so with the pyramid complete, the next thing on my list was to get noble apparel for our people. If we get noble apparel, we can dress Jerry to be the pharaoh that he should be. Along with all of the other kind of noble members of the colony. I think Timo definitely deserves something. Ba basic hammers though? Well, you strike a hard bargain. Engineering unlocks oh, an advanced research bench. If we also get alchemy, oh that's cool. I want the statues though. All this time spent trying to get art, we need to get some statues to show for it. Then I think another good idea might be, hear me out here, making some weapons and armor for our people. I know, I know, it's almost meme-worthy at this stage. Let's go ahead and tithe iron ingots, which are a bit more, oh, maybe like bronze. I think bronze is a bit more specific for this era. Sure, we could tithe steel. I suppose we could tithe steel. But we need iron for other things, though. Uh, well, let's tie the, let's tie the combination. Let, let's get steel, and let's get bronze, and let's get iron. Let, let's go for a mixture. Colonists are gathering to celebrate Wes and Rebecca's marriage. What a day. What an incredible day for us all. The second generation and future... Fa <laughs> Baby riding out of the cougar. 
<laughs> the time-honored tradition of marriages in this colony. I like in the UK, you get like flower girls, bridesmaids, that type of thing. No, in this colony, our marriage tradition is the youngest of the colony must ride in on a cougar. It symbolizes the fearlessness and the and the 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 conquering of nature that this colony has done. Oh god. Speaking of which. What the fuck happened there? Like camel just did a lion in. <laughs> what a guy. Oh, Troy Karen selling a giant fish. Who is this? It's Reem! A war merchant from Reem! Hello! And here it goes. The marriage ceremony that the Reemans have just barged in on to eat their jerky? So this is a marriage. Get the hell out of here. Piss off. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to start thinking about what we're gonna do with little Wes. I think I have a great life goal for him. Jerry built the pyramids, he built the city. It's hard to it's gonna be really, really hard to follow that. But if Wes could tame a dragon as his destiny pointed to. Uh... What a coincidence. That is ridiculous. I'm not taming that thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not you're not getting tamed. You're just a sand shark. I'm not listening to you. But if Wes could tame some large monster, maybe Wes could be our conquesting pharaoh, leading the armies of Jerry atop the back of a giant beast. He was born on the on a giant beast, maybe he'll die on a giant beast, but he'll die an honorable pharaoh. I like that idea. Well, not necessarily him dying. Ambrosian limbs are very cool. They are a one-to-one -one replacement for regular limbs, so 100% efficiency, but they're very, very expensive, but they're also medieval. Um, oh, it's 5,000 research. I'm sorry, I need the noble apparel. Shit, glyph deciphering? What is that? The glyphs both engraved on stargates and on mysterious scraps of paper have meaning. Deciphering them and locating where they go may unlock a new way of travel. Whoa. Maybe that's something for the future though, huh? I want delicious hot dogs. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. It's hideous. But that gives me an idea. What if Little Wes King... What if Little Wes King goes to school and learns about animals? I think that's a good idea. Um, but hang, let's build him his own desk. And I'll forbid him from here and we'll give him his own desk in his, in his house. I think that's a great idea. He can sit there studying. This could be his life's work. Studying how to tame the greatest beasts from traders giving us information or selling us books or whatever else. Ideally, if we could actually get a book, that would be great. Let's make a new area specifically just for Wes then. And let's forbid him from uh, the entire school because I make learning his top priority now until he becomes... Till it becomes fair, I couldn't think of a better life's work for him to have. And I think a nice little Neolithic desk there. I'll steal a, I'll steal a chair from here. Oh, it's fine. Train animals forever. And then Wes, this is on you, my friend. I said that the pharaohs would rule based on their passions. The guy was born on a dragon and has a passion for animals. Animals are melee. He's going to be our conquering pharaoh. I love this idea. Um, let's throw you. Oops. <laughs> Pretend you didn't see that. Where's learning top priority? Let's drop down crafting. We're training up a different character as a crafter. Plant cutting is not as important. This is your life's work, my friend. There he goes. Hard at work. Where's I'm, I'm betting the house on you here. This is obviously the most dangerous thing we could ever possibly do. Because if he tries to tame a dragon and gets devoured immediately, that would suck. I mean, he's got an heir, so it's a little less gambly now. I haven't got any ridiculous building project going on right now. I want to build a marketplace. That's very true. But I think we need cotton for the awnings. Uh, we just need leather. Oh, that could look cool. I, I was going to say, we've got Mate and Braytek just sitting researching for most of their time because they haven't got anything else to do. Braytek is training up in melee and then Mate is training up in, in shooting. So, I mean, they're going to be the ultimate guards any pharaoh could ever want. Let's get our doctors hard at work as well. We need some healers here. I mean, they would have been very, very important in ancient Egypt, right? So we need aloe oil and yarrow oil. God knows if we can plan either of those. I'm sure I can dig some up on the map. If not, I'm sure the river provides everything we could ever need. Because of course it would. Uh, Yarrow. There you go. And let's throw down some aloe as well. Aloe vera. There we go. Perfect. Um, it means we must have some seeds if we're allowed to plant it. And we've already got enough yarrow and... Uh, sorry. Slightly similar things on map. There we go. We've got enough yarrow and aloe vera to kick things off too. A little patch of aloe vera somewhere over here. There they are. Hello. I know what. Yeah, is that a Jagras? That's a Jagras, right? Yeah, see, I've played Monster Hunter. I know what that is. Uh, Burns. Hello there. Oh, Mr. Burns. What's your first name? Uh, what do you sell? <laughs> we could buy a Jagras. I don't think I want to. God damn. I just want some cotton seeds. Why is this so difficult? 
Cotton plant. There's one. There's a single cotton plant. Duck, if you eat that, we are. I'm gonna. I'm gonna eat you. It's growth rate is 200%, but it's only 17% grown. We need to protect that. We need to protect that cotton plant. Um, if I put a wall around it, they'll chop down anything adjacent, won't they? This is the stupidest thing I've ever done, but we don't have a choice. The holy cotton plant. Definitely do not put a roof on that. Never put a roof on that. Worst idea anyone's ever had. Oh, there's a duck in there. Get that fucking duck out. Am I going to kill a duck? Can, we, can, can someone lure that out? Who's good at animal handling? If you eat that cotton, my friend, you're done for. Lee Zero, get this damn duck out of here. Thank you. Okay. Show me noble apparel. Thank you. Thank you. The top hat may or may not be what we need. There it is. At long last, Jerry can dress like the damn pharaoh that he is. Ooh, military clothing. Textile spinning for desert looming. What is that? Well, I guess we'll find out soon, won't we? Give me a top hat. Now, we do have the materials to make this, but the question is, what do we want to make it out of? Uh, we've got Lion Pal. That's really hard to read on that background. Look, don't you dare say anything about my UI. I love this UI. I need a tailorer, and our best tailorer is Jerry himself. He is about to show the people the height of Jerry Egyptian fashion. Look upon your pharaoh now. Oh, look upon your pharaoh now. Wear it, Jerry. He's blushing. That's how proud he is of his work. My god. <laughs> He looks like a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, he knows he's made a mistake in his heart, but he's bigged it up to the people too much now. Yeah, you sigh. Yeah, you and me both. It's like, damn, maybe there's a reason this died out 2,000 years ago, huh? Holy crap. Wow, that really is something. That really, really is something. We need you to get you some better gear. You're just wearing regular tribal wear. Maybe that's what's ruining it. Maybe he needs something complimentary. Uh, like some sort of other noble apparel. Like a cape. I bet the pharaohs wore capes. I bet they love a cape. A robe. A robe makes a lot of sense. Capes and robes. That's what the pharaohs would wear. Or a toga. That makes even more sense. Uh, let's make them all out of lion leather. And then what we could do is we could just dye them with, uh, with the paint shop. There we go. After a little experimentation, Jerry has decided that the golden headdress plus just a, just a more of a plain outfit works fine. Those are just regular plain old robes. Eventually, something like the golden armor would be amazing for the Pharaoh. Given that the Pharaoh has a tradition now of being a warrior, he saved the colony. Maybe the people are going to expect that of him. The Pharaoh being the, the mightiest of their warriors. Could make him some bronze centurion armor. Oh, that might look cool. All right, Jerry, give it a go. Wes is supposed to be our crafter, but of course, he's far too busy. Almost obsessed with his animals books. Or oh, eating a meal. Yeah, that too. Taxes have arrived. 800, wow, 825 steel ingots, 1,200 bronze, and 600 iron ingots. Wowee. You guys are so dedicated to your pharaoh. Just nice work. You're just, just gonna dump it there. You're just gonna dump it there. There's probably a tax delivery spot, isn't there? Uh, yep. Yep, there is. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time you guys can uh, drop it in the stockpile. Now, in Generations 1, we had it so that every new era we reached, we gave them new armor, right? We kind of designated a colony-based armor set on whatever technology we got at the time and then adjusted that maybe later in the era if it was necessary. I think, because that's not going to be so relevant this time, the pharaohs should decide what they want. So for our melee characters, why don't we make a bunch of centurion gear? And given that I'm making Jerry some centurion armor too, why don't we, why don't we just give it a, a paint job? And pretend it's some sort of golden armor. No one needs to know. That no one's looking right now. All right, so maybe the paint job didn't work. Oh shit! How does it look? Do you still look like a respectable pharaoh? You know what? I can get behind it. It's a weird color scheme, but it works. Eventually, of course, we'll make him something much nicer, like some of that medieval gear that we've seen the gold trim stuff. That'll be so much cooler for the pharaoh. <gasps> he will tame the next animal regardless of difficulty for the next eight days. Is there anything on the map? Is there anything on the map worth taming now? A crocodile. That seems like a waste. Hippos? I mean, a hippo is kind of cool. Oh my god. Maybe we could go out into the world and look for something. Maybe that's what we've got to bank on, though, to get one of the cool creatures with no risk. We can't risk the future pharaoh like that. So we just wait until he gets inspired taming, then we go grab something. Dodgy Dave is no longer incapable of walking. Oh, fantastic. And immediately... He's beelining it for the stage. And my god, if there ever was a moment 
to end an episode. That might be it right there. Sing us out, Dodgy Dave. Sing us out. What a legend. And what a legendary day for the colony once again. The pyramid is complete. Jerry is beclothed. More expansions and more polishing for the entire base. It's looking like it's maybe one of the best bases I ever built. So I, I hope you understand that. It's all downhill from here. This is this is maybe peak themed Rimworld. Thank you, of course, to the patrons for allowing the channel to exist, for bearing with me over the past few weeks, and for probably the next couple of weeks as well, where occasionally episodes will be missing and that type of thing, just while I try and sort my life out and find a house to live in. Thank you to D's Nuts, Texas Yardbird, John McCoppin, Curiosity, Oliver, Star 69er, Juicy Pickle, Dart, Botto Etex, Eckle Cakes, Michael Nichols, Naughty Pickers, Scourge, Slime Pierre, Dexter Lowe, Killer Clown, Kerbo Supreme, Spongy Bomb Monster, and Deets for their support, the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you. Thank you for making the channel possible. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you as well to Saltalor, Michael Scott, Loom High, Cyber Monkey, Kipos, Cheese King 21, Frumpy Bunny, Ethan Ganino, Angry Ares, Azarius, Blood Riot, Central Kazoo, Just Mass, The Merp, Scott Dockery, Nexus Cron, Yellow Engram, Heck, Lassero, Maximus 555, and Rico's Roughneck as well. See you all tomorrow for an additional Rim Rim. Thank you.